Transfigured on the Mount, O Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. This morning, my brothers and sisters, the fourth Sunday of Pascha, the church is calling to our attention the importance of being healed. And we call God, in, especially we remember in the service of Holy Unction, we call him the physician of our souls and bodies. And as the priest anoints us with the holy oil from the unction, he says, the physician of our souls and bodies, we have a healer in Jesus Christ. In this morning's gospel, we hear of a, of a man who for 38 years was sick, laying there right next to the pool where all he had to do was get up and get in and he could have been healed. And Jesus asks him, do you want to be healed? He says, I don't have a man to put me into the water. And we should remember that phrase because it was just a few weeks ago that Pontius Pilate brought Christ out to the cross and he said, behold the man, the man who can heal us, the man who can protect us, the man who can save us, the true man, the true human being, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the only one that can help us. Ever since Adam and Eve were created in the garden, God knew that we couldn't do it on our own. We remember reading in the book of Genesis, he creates mankind, he says, it's not good for man to be alone. He creates Eve to help Adam find God, not to do the laundry. <laughs> We forget that the woman was given to the man to help him find God. Century after century, generation after generation, we have not been able to find God by ourselves. And so we are laying paralyzed like the man in this morning's gospel. We might think we're getting up and doing something, but without God, we are laying there waiting for him to lift us up. We are waiting for him to say, arise. And he will raise us up in the last day because he is our Lord and our Savior, the physician of our souls and bodies. We don't have to say we have no one like the man in this morning's gospel. We have God, we have his church, and we have each other. Imagine this man was laying next to the pool of Bethesda for 38 years, and not one person ever offered to help him. Krima. Think about that. 38 years he laid there paralyzed. And he's laying there and there's people coming and going and coming and going to the temple. This is not out in the middle of nowhere. And not one person offered to help him. What a shame it would be if we had that same experience. If we were sitting there needing help year after year and no one offered to help us, no one offered to lift us up. We come and go from the church all the time. And yet many of us are still paralyzed, waiting to be lifted up by God. 
And my brothers and sisters, the good news of the gospel is because of what we celebrated a few weeks ago at Holy Week in Pascha, because Jesus Christ went up on that cross and died and was buried and rose from the dead, we have a helper. And when we come to the church, we are in his presence. On the altar table is the body and blood of Christ. And in just a little while, I'm going to come out with the chalice and I'm going to say, And what are we going to do? Are we going to wait to have someone carry us up like this man did? Or are we going to bring ourselves to God? There has to be some willingness. The man laid there. Let's not just lay around and wait. Let's lift ourselves up. Let's lift each other up and bring ourselves and our friends and our family members to Christ. If we think right now we know there's at least one person who could be here today, if only we made a phone call and said, can I pick you up for church? And unfortunately, that person is at home instead of here. This is that great opportunity that we have not only for ourselves to be healed, not only for ourselves to be lifted up by God, but to help other people. So that there is no one left laying in the front doors of our church for 38 years. So that no one in Tarpon Springs can say, I have no one to help me. Because we have been baptized into Christ. We are Christ to the world. We are their hands and their feet. So it's up to us to lift them up and to bring them to Christ so that the physician of our souls and bodies, God himself, the only true human being, can heal them and welcome them into the gates of heaven. Christos Anesti. Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.